Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. I would like to thank my honourable friend, uh, the member for East Ham, for securing this urgent question. Also to say to the Minister, I look forward to working with him constructively, but I can assure him that we will be robustly holding him to account as well. Madam Deputy Speaker, we know that there is a moral vacuum at the heart of this Conservative Government, and we know that number 10 is a shambles and that the Home Office under this Home Secretary is not fit for purpose. This case brings all these fundamental flaws into one toxic combination of indifference and incompetence. The harrowing accounts that have emerged include a man who was held in a cell for months on end, wrongly accused of failing his test without any right to release or even to appeal. Students who have contributed so much to our country have been wrongly deported based on unreliable evidence and as a result have suffered intolerable and deep, deep injustice and personal hardship. As one student put it, I want my future back. It goes without saying that the Labour Party supports the use of English language tests and of course we support tar efforts to target cheating. But this utterly con the, we must utterly condemn the blind eye that the Home Office turned to ETS's failings. Could the Minister therefore tell us why on earth did the Home Office think it appropriate to allow a discredited ETS to manage the initial investigation in 2014 and to rely on its deeply questionable data? If the Government intends to continue to rely on ETS claims, and if so, how on earth can the Home Office be sure the data is reliable? What action the Government plans to take to right these wrongs? And will he continue to force migrants through the demeaning process of lengthy legal, legal battles rather than resolving this internally? And will he commit now from this dispatch box to a mechanism that will enable innocent students to clear their names? This is, of course, just one of a litany of Home Office failures under this Conservative Government since 2010, from the Windrush scandal to data leaks to the ongoing small boats crisis. The Home Secretary must now take full responsibility for this shocking miscarriage of justice. Yeah.